back at the wood shop. Welcome to fiberglass. You poor, poor thing. This is one of the reasons why we don't want to own a fiberglass boat. Fiberglass one. Right? But another reason why we want to own fiberglass is, well, way more maintenance for it. Yeah. That's for sure. It's liquid snat. But we're gonna make the inside feel like wood. He's. This is the liquid snap man walking around. So we are here at the wood shop and Pete is going to uh, grind down the spot on Little Bird that has... I gotta look for safety glasses. The Little Bird has a leak on it. Okay. And that's why we had a lot of trouble when we were sailing last year. It's because of the leak uh, right by our centerboard trunk. So Pete is going to grind that out and repair that today. And I'm so proud of myself. Little D Bird did perfect. Little Bird did really good. She's There's no water in her. After all the hurricanes and everything, she looks good. The tarp didn't blow away. I hear a cat. Kitty? Kitty? There you are! Hi! Anyways. So Pete is grinding away on the Pacific Sea Graph. Working on the sign. Uh, I was starting to flake the uh, the clear coat I put on it, and it wasn't looking too good, so I was going to do a little maintenance on it and make sure it stays up to date. So just sort of scraping off the the clear coat that was peeling. And I was going to scuff it down a little bit and and paint it up. using about 800 grit sandpaper and just sort of lightly scuffing it down ready for a little maintenance coat ready for a little clear coat and a little varnish and voila! maintenance coat done! looks a little better, I should have scraped right back here it's a little bit whitish back there, but oh well. I'll get it next time. I'm gonna go get me a pump of a fox. Okay. I put some woven roving in that little crack. Mm -hmm. Like little strands of woven roving along that seam that was leaking. And then I put this Bi axle stuff on here, which is pretty cool stuff. So now I'm just kind of going to glass this up and I got I to gotta sand it again and ferret and then paint it. And this will be pretty well done. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty rough. I don't know. Should we, I, we should probably get this guy out, huh? Yeah, um, I had that, uh, let me get the screw gun with a filter. No, uh, just get a, the, Vice grips, the little vice grips. Oh, okay. Because that grabs it better. Oh, okay. It's cold today. Burr, burr, burr. All right, this is the project for today. I'm gonna work on just taking out everything that's inside of this boat. I'm gonna take these portholes apart, all these lights, the handrails, the you know, this sort of stuff, the compass, anything like that. We gotta take the through holes, all these wooden slats down. So I'm just gonna slowly start pulling everything apart. And then once we get everything off of here, there's all these like little extras too, like all these screws are in here. And, um, and once we get all that, Pete's gonna cut any of these uh, glass in. Those are supposed to be bulkheads, but they've been just ripped out. Like, everything's been ripped out in here. 
Seems like it might have sunk, and then they just sort of ripped out everything on the interior. So we're gonna do that, and then Pete's gonna grind and sand and power wash everything inside of here. We gotta cut, actually we'll have to cut the floor out first and get these tanks out of here. And then we'll, once we get everything out, we'll power wash it and, um, and then paint it with some bilge coat paint. Get everything all painted up, make it look nice and then start filling the interior, which will be fun. Um, for the exterior, I think what we're going to do is, um, the hole actually looks really good. The hole is fine. I think we're going to leave it brown. I like the color. It's good. Have red bottom paint, too. I like all the color scheme. The top sides, we're going to repaint. It's kind of nice because it's already got, like, molded in non-skid, which is kind of cool. So we're going to paint the top sides. And um, and any of the wood is going to be fake wood. We're not going to leave it real wood outside. Um, like Home Depot sells like that plastic sort of uh, fake wood. We're going to put the cap rail to be that and, and the eyebrows. It's such a pain to varnish on a fiberglass boat because you try not to get varnish on the, f the paint and you have to tape everything off and sanding's hard to do and so we're just gonna do fake wood instead so I've been doing the, today I've been doing a bunch of Facebook live posts just to sort of make it fun with working on the Pacific Sea Crab. And I think I'm going to do a little bit more um, Facebook Lives on my page, Accidental Sailor Girl, um, just to get people a little more involved, you can see what's going on right now. Um, sometimes with YouTube, I can get a little delayed because of the edits, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to sort of keep up the pace of everything, of life. So um, I definitely want to keep everyone up to date on what's going on. And I'm sure you guys do too, you know, you kind of want to know. I mean, YouTube, you definitely get the full scope of everything, but it is sort of nice to know that you're sort of updated, so that's what I'm going to do for a little while today, is have a bunch of Facebook live posts every hour of the time. So I was pulling down the carpet on the inside of the Pacific Seacraft and I found all these little baby lizard eggs nice and neatly laid on top of that leaf right there and it was nice and warm and dry in that area so I'm going to try to put them somewhere nice and warm and it's obviously dry in this mask so that they can hatch. Hopefully I didn't rattle them too much and they didn't dislodge from the edge of the shell or whatever, but... Mm. Anyways, I gotta get back to pulling that carpet down. Good morning. I don't think we need to eat though. We are, no. I'll we are driving in the 65 Ford. How'd you turn the heat off? You turn the knob? Yeah. Pull oh. it out for defrost. It's got defrost even? Yeah, that makes it go on the top. It's mechanical instead of the van. Everything works on this truck. Yeah, Needs a tune up though. That's next. Needs to be driven. Needs to be driven. Needs a tune up. Depending on how it much the wires are and everything, we might be able to afford it this, this paycheck. Okay. Something's coming over the ridge. What? There they are. Sirens, yeah. So I went to Sailor's Exchange and Pete wanted me to pick him out some umbrella for the truck. I decided I'd pick out a color that I want to do for Norna. 
and then have it go with the truck as well.